Hi, I'm Suzanne Jackson, an award-winning fashion and beauty blogger. I'm supporting this Lalette's campaign by talking about becoming a teenager and all of my experiences. Hopefully I can make things a little less confusing by sharing my experiences with you. And you can find out more at becomingateen.ie. I went through phases, but I actually got like acne at a later stage, so I was about 17, and I got it all over my chin. And I don't know if it was the stress, my leaving cert and my body changing, but I did break out and I actually went to my local pharmacist who helped me clear it up. You're, you're, you're very conscious of it and there's not really a lot you can do, but you just have to remember that the time will pass, it will clear, it's only hormonal, and don't be worried about it. Everybody's going through the changes and everyone breaks out as well. Thankfully, I never felt like it was just happening to me. I know some friends who went through some really bad acne phases where their skin was totally flared up for a long time, where I think they felt like, why is this happening to me and the rest of my friends have perfect skin? But not everybody is perfect. Someone's having a hang up somewhere, whether her boobs aren't developing as quick as her friend, or maybe she hasn't got her period. You know, I was very late getting my period. So there was something everybody, someone's always hung up about something. So don't be thinking that you're the only person. Sometimes, yes, physical, things can make you look like you are standing out to everyone else, but what's going on in someone's head as well could be bothering them, so don't stress. I suppose to my younger self would be don't sweat the small stuff. So I hated that I didn't have boobs and I had freckly skin growing up. I love my freckles now. They're embracing them on the catwalk. So what you hate as you're growing up, you probably will end up loving as you get older. So don't sweat the small stuff. And like anything, talk to people. If something's bothering you, you feel like it's just you or you're a little bit down about something, talk to your mum, talk to your sister, talk to your friend, talk to your teacher, whoever you feel like you can have some sort of a conversation with and they won't judge, then do that. Because I think if you talk, you're getting it off your chest and you'll feel better. I asked her about it because I wanted to know what to use and what I couldn't use and I suppose they were so strict about it in school you kind of had to do it secretly, you know. But uh, yeah, I asked her and she helped me and she helped me get the shade that was as natural as possible that kind of covered up any blemishes and redness and stuff like that. So yeah, I did ask her. Just the secret is to go with natural, get a foundation that matches your skin tone. Don't go over the top, a little bit of mascara and, and you're fine. The thing I wanted the most was big boobs, you know. I think when you're coming into your changes, you want boobs, you're looking at your friends who have boobs and I was always very slim and very boyish in my figure. So I used to kind of be a bit jealous of the girls that had bigger boobs. So I was always trying to get the push-up bras and trying to get bras to give me more cleavage and wore the chicken fillets for years. So um, definitely I wanted boobs, that was my thing. You know what, what I've learned now over the years is that sometimes smaller boobs are better because they don't give you back pain. You get to wear way better clothes and tops and dresses. And you know, you don't have to worry about things fitting you and going in to get special bras. So sometimes having no boobs definitely works more in your favor. I think don't be afraid of it because it's a natural development and your mum is only waiting for you to come to her for her advice, you know. So just go and have a chat with her and explain, you know, maybe how you're feeling or you're getting boobs or will she bring you for a fitting, whatever it might be. But don't be afraid to talk to your friends about it as well. They're going through the exact same changes and I think it's really exciting, you know, when you're getting your first bra because you feel like a real woman then.